Amigos, estamos aquí con Cody Lee Ford, eh, guitarrista de Zoe, que van a estar de regreso en nuestro país en unos días, con cinco o seis fechas confirmadas. Realmente no está ni la Ciudad de México ni Monterrey, entonces, pues, muchos más fans de otras ciudades del, del país podrán disfrutarlo. Well, Cody, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. Busy, busy as always, but good. What are you doing? Um, well, it's been a, about a month and a half, two months of working on uh, sewing stuff. I mean, we we recorded a um, new album, sure. so that's exciting. Um, so yeah, we've just been working on that, some other projects on the side as well, and um, now it's just getting ready for tour. Well, you will be back in Mexico, in, as we said before, in just over a week. Your first time here was in, in March 2020, then in March yeah. 22, and now March again. Any particular reason you like coming in March? Maybe you enjoy Mexican winter in this season. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't know if, uh, I guess just with how the touring cycle usually works. I mean, you usually leave out the, the summers for like the European circuits, uh, festival circuits um and then and then yeah i guess just 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 with the way we, we've sort of released albums in our touring cycle it just tends to happen this way i guess but personally i love i love coming to latin america and in, in the in the wind it's a winter here of course right so it's uh currently snowing outside as i'm looking out my window and it's cold and uh so it is it is a nice time for us to 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 go over there and uh, enjoy some sun and some some good people. Cool. Uh, but, you know, this time you will not visit Mexico City. It's something pretty strange. Uh, this time, do you prefer to explore new markets, new cities, new fans? Yeah, yeah. I think, uh, I know everybody is a little bit confused about that. And it's just because the, <clears throat> this this tour is, It's basically an extension of the uh, of the Imperial tour. So it's it's sort of it's still the Imperial tour. We're still kind of touring this album uh, until the next album comes out. And so uh, the goal this year was to hit, you know, focus a little bit more on festivals and then play some um, play some maybe some smaller cities that that haven't had a chance to to see us yet. Um, So I know some people are a bit confused because we're still going to Guadalajara. Um, I, I, I don't know. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't decide these things. But, but mostly, <clears throat> but mostly that's that's kind of the reason. So Mexico City will have to wait until the until the next album uh, comes out, and of course it'll be very special that way. You know, we'll, we'll be able to do a proper big show for uh for the for the new for the new album so i'll have to have a little bit of patience or or hopefully travel to to uh, another mexican city for for this one you know so is a, a so is a relatively new band but with a huge acceptance within this scene what's your formula to keep growing and growing uh, every album every this um cycle Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's never necessarily a formula per se, but um, I mean, what's important is always that you stay true to yourself. You stay true to uh, the music that you want to write, the music that you're excited about writing. Um, of course, we sort of have this general idea of, you know, how we want to progress as a band is you know the band started off maybe a, a lot more proggy than it is now i would still say that we have lots of prog elements in our music but we we like to consider ourselves more of just a metal band right so you know we, we throw in the proggy elements when it really fits but uh, at the end of the day for us now it's just about writing good songs and just kind of serving the songs and whatever those songs need is um Is, is is all that's required you know we don't need to we don't need to make a song 10 minutes long if it doesn't need to be 10 minutes long kind of thing um but 
but at the same time you know uh, everybody uh, what's really cool about the band is everybody is um is always kind of taking themselves to the next level as well just in their own personal musicianship uh you know it's it's important for me that i continue to practice guitar i don't just stay stagnant in, in what i can do on the instrument and and i know that's the same for everybody in the band and uh, you know joel is always joel especially is always pushing himself to get to the next level as a vocalist and um and you know every album he he's doing something um different uh that he maybe wasn't able to do the album before that and um so that's a part of it too i mean as we evolve uh, so does the music and we have a little bit we have more tools in the toolbox so to speak and um and yeah i mean I, at the end of the day i mean it's important for the album to to flow well it's got to have the right amount of, of heaviness and you know we understand that the essence of sewing is, is sort of the ebbs and flows of an album you know the sort of the soft delicate intricate parts and then the super heavy in your face kind of stuff and uh so that it's important to kind of understand um who you are as a band as well and and kind of keep that keep that spirit alive while sort of evolving in other ways talking about this um who you are topic in the beginning, Son was constantly compared with other bands, like, of course, up at the pool. Uh, you think uh, you finally managed to get people to identify your own sound, to, to hear your songs and say, mm, that's Son? Yeah, I think so. I think so. I think, um, I think the last few albums, especially, I mean, Lakaya onwards, for sure, I think so and kind of came into its own, um, sort of found the spirits, the essence of the band. Um, I mean, it's obvious that Cognitive is very tool inspired and, and that's, that's a completely fair comparison. Um, but I think a lot of people just kind of uh, wrote off the band at that moment and just said, you know, this is just a, a band that's like a a tool copy or something but but i think nowadays it's it's uh, it's definitely evolved uh we kind of have our own um our own things going on and um of course we still kind of wear our influences on our sleeves but um i think that i think that when you put on a sewn track nowadays it's very distinctly sewn you think uh well, Sewn has been a band in constant change of members. Uh, does this current lineup feel the most strong that Sewn has ever? Yeah, I mean, maybe I'm not the one to ask. I mean, it would be better maybe if you asked us to partner Joel, right? But I think, I think the feeling in the band is that it's definitely the strongest. Um, I mean, just... It's, it's not about, I mean, someone has always had great musicians in the band, um, but I think it's more about um, just kind of where we are as a band, uh, how the band sort of gets along. Uh, there's just a good energy. There's a good energy in the band. We, we, love to, we love to hang out. We love to tour together. We love to write music together. Uh, I think the stuff that we're coming out with is, is, is good. Hopefully, <laughs> and um, yeah, so so it's a good feeling, and I think I think right now it was you know it was really important for for Martin and and uh, you know and Joel and, and Lars like when they when they recruited me it's it was important that you know they're they're finding sort of musicians that um, are kind of in it for the long run you know you really want to do this and and uh you know dedicate a lot of their lives to it and uh just see how far we can take this thing so uh we're in a good moment yeah i would say so talking about your new album your last album imperial uh, i think it still sounds like so and 
uh, following the line remarked in on Lycaia, Lotus, but more polished, more uh, refined. Is there room within Soen for experimentation to go outside the standard that people expect for you? Yeah, always. Yeah, there's there's always room. Yeah, for sure. I think it's it, it's it's very important that um, uh, you know it, it's like I said. There's a there's a fine balance that that sort of needs to be held between um, sort of sticking true to to the band you are and sort of the spirit of the band, but also evolving in in other ways. You know, coming up with something fresh and. Um, and yeah, so, you know, Imperial was, was definitely that we decided to, you know, shake things up, go with, um, an American uh, engineer, um, just to kind of experiment with a different sound. Um, and, and I would say that, you know, the, the album that we're working on now is, is very much a sort of continuation of this evolution um there are songs on this album that uh that sort of <clears throat> uh widen the horizons i would say of of what sewing can sound like uh which is always important for us i think every album um keeps things fresh but like i said you know you kind of have to uh keep that keep the spirit alive like you know what sewing is uh, at the heart of us so um yeah yeah always room for experimentation yeah i think it's very important it's completely important or else you're just gonna be you're gonna feel stag i mean your music's gonna sound stagnant um you're, you're gonna feel stagnant as musicians as well so it's important that it stays fun for us right Imperial was recorded and written during the, the pandemics and is um, a kind of reflection of the times. Uh, this new album will be also a reflection of the new times we're living in. Yeah, yeah. I think, you know, part of um, part of the essence of Sewing is that it's, it's definitely, um, you know, we we, we tend to talk about real world issues. I mean, it's, uh, it's important to, it's important for us to kind of sing about things that we, that we are passionate about, um, observations that we make, um, sort of, you know, it's, 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 it's all the shit you see on the news and the newspaper and all of that stuff. I mean, it's, the world is, um, it's very it's a very divided place right now um of course corruption continues to live on um so i think you know writing these songs is important for us and, and for our audience members as well i think uh they really resonate with with the message with the messages of the music and um yeah, it, it, it's, it's important for us to, to kind of continue on with this thing, uh, because we feel like, you know, we're not alone in it. And we feel like the audience feels from our music that they're not alone in it. And, uh, it's a very cathartic kind of experience. In the new album, could you give, could you give us some details about it? Do you have already a name, a release date? Where are you producing it? <laughs> Uh, okay. Um, the there's there's no name for it yet, but uh, we're hoping to release it sometime this year, later this year, maybe in the fall if everything goes well. Um, but yeah, I mean we we have a couple of different people sort of looking at the album right now. We're, we're, we're trying to decide who's who's going to mix it. We've got some mixes back already, and it's, it's already sounding fantastic. We're 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 really excited about it, actually. But um, but yeah, I mean, I don't want to give out uh, I don't want to give out too many little okay. many little I, eggs here. The time's over. Thank you so much, and see you here in ten days.
Beautiful, beautiful. I look forward to it, man. Can't wait. Yeah, take care. You too. Cheers.